All right, all right, all right. What the F is going on with crypto right now? This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. We're going to be discussing a little piece of news that's got me a little bit riled up. With that said, Ethereum is pumping. It just went over $2,000 for the first time in a long time. And even though we had the Shanghai upgrade yesterday, Ethereum doesn't care. And the cryptocurrency market doesn't care. And maybe we're about to see an alt season. That's what I want to see because that would make us some crazy money here in the crypto space. You know, we've been positioning ourselves here on the channel for a wild run. And if this does happen, we're going to be happy. So we're going to discuss everything that you need to know to be fully up to date. Remember, guys, nothing in my videos is financial advice because I'm just a guy sitting in a room. All right. But first of all, what on earth is this? What is this? FTX attorney says they found $7.3 billion in assets and should restart the exchange. They're just, they're just going, through, going through the little folders that they have back there on their QuickBooks, on their, on their Google spreadsheets. Like, just, uh, uh, guys, guys, there's, there's $7.3 billion lying around here. Let's just restart the exchange. What is going on? <laughs> now, with that said... Imagine they did this and imagine everyone in crypto gets their crypto back and because they were forced to hold, they actually come out better off. Because when this happened, from my memory, Bitcoin was around $23,000. So imagine you're holding Bitcoin in FTX. This whole drama happened and then you get your Bitcoin back at $30,000 plus. dollars. be pretty wild, right? I'm sure that won't happen. But if it did, believe me, I reckon that would be the start of the next bull run, right? That would be very bullish for the market. We did also see a lot of people maybe believing that with FTX token up, I think it was like 100% at one point in 24 hours, which is insane. Now sitting at 66% up on the day at $2.25. I'm so surprised this token isn't just completely dead. But who am I to judge cryptocurrency? Because we have seen more crazy things in this space. The market cap of this token is still $750 million. $750 million. Speaking about crazy tokens, we also have Arbitrum up 11% today, close to 12%. And they pissed everyone off with their governance decision to just move money around without anyone agreeing to it. I personally sold my tokens because I didn't like that. And what's happened? Arbitrum is up. Pretty much exactly like I said would happen when I sold my tokens. Not to say that I know what's going to happen or I knew better. I sold my tokens. I told you guys. I sold them. But what I said was, it will probably pump from here because the crypto market's wild. That's exactly what's happening. Arbitrum is pumping as we speak at 1.7% billion dollar market cap still moving 12 percent in a single day this is wild 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 now warren buffett also likens bitcoin to gambling this guy just will not stop these guys who have been hating bitcoin for 10 years or whatever it's been they don't think they're ever going to turn around and realize that they're mistaken like it's been the best performing asset this year it's been the best performing asset if you've held it for like five six seven years or whatever it's been incredible people were always whinging to me when bitcoin was down at like 15 to 20k they were calling me mad for dollar cost averaging but they were all saying that bitcoin was a terrible investment because it was down from 69,000. i never disagreed with that but what my argument always was was guys I bought Bitcoin when COVID crashed at $3,500. I also bought Bitcoin in 2017 at $3,500. I also bought Bitcoin at $10,000, at $20,000, $30,000, $40,000, and so on. But because I dollar cost averaged, my buy price was much lower than where we were. That's what always stuck in my head. And I never really understood what people were saying when they say it's a terrible investment. Yes, it went up loads and then came down. But is something going up loads and then coming down to not as low as it was before? a terrible investment. $3,000 to $17,000 or $19,000, down to $3,000, up to ten, down to $3,000, up to $69,000, and then down to $15,000, and now back up to $30,000, doesn't seem like a terrible investment to me. It seems like an opportunity where you can actually get your hands on Bitcoin for cheap prices, and in the history of Bitcoin, it's always gone back up. It's one of the lowest risk and highest reward ratios in any investment class. To back up my claims of what I just said, look at these returns for Bitcoin. Year one, 9,000%. 2011, 1,500%. 2012, two under 200%. 2013, 5,000%. So on, so on, so on. But what we see is 2014, down 60%. 2018, down 70%. 2022, down 65%. Yes, there are times when Bitcoin goes down. But apart from that, 
it goes up. Just before jumping further into this video, I want to introduce you to today's channel sponsor, and that is Memento. Now, Memento is an interesting platform. They are planning to bring together creators and their fans and make an ecosystem in which both can benefit. And this is a platform where creators and fans can create a deeper relationship and offer exclusive perks and experiences, all the while generating new streams of revenue for the creator themselves. And before we do jump onto the website and check out the app itself, I want to tell you guys that Memento are currently running a giveaway of 100 USDC, and all you have to do is download the app and create yourself a profile. So pause this video and head to the links down there in my description and sign up to the app right now if you wanna partake in this giveaway. And jumping onto their website, we can see that they plan to create valuable digital collectibles of the best social media content and build a thriving community that rewards the biggest fans. So you can download and mint your own NFTs directly on this platform. And it's the simplest way to create and collect social content. You can join this platform along with your favorite creators or if you are a creator yourself in order to generate some new income. And an influencer named Tony Lopez has said it's like TikTok, but it's completely his own content and he can interact directly with his fans. Now fans can support, collect and experience perks, rewards and money through the engagement platform. And like I said, this platform gives creators the opportunity to branch into the web3 category so if we jump onto the app here we can see that it has a very similar user interface to something like tiktok but the unique difference comes with these symbols at the top which we click on here we can see different unlockables so like i said this app gives an opportunity for creators to connect to their fans and what these unlockables do is unlock nfts that give fans the opportunity for meet and greets, for tickets, for merchandise, and things like live streams. So this is a very interesting platform that I think has a lot of space to grow. Now, as well as the feed that we can see here, we can also see an explore tab where you can look around different collectibles on the platform. You can also check out your wallet here where you can see NFTs that you've sold, bought, and collected. And also you have your own profile that you guys can create and add your own flair to. Now, we also have a very star-studded partners and investors like Buy Bit, Ripple, Blockchain, Coinvestors, and Animoca Brands with a team fully visible right here for you guys to check out if it's something that you want to do. With that said, I suggest heading down to the links there in my description, checking out this and starting your research into this project because it does sound pretty interesting to me. Thank you to Memento for sponsoring this segment of the video and moving on to the news, right? Yesterday we did cover this, but year over year, US headline inflation at 5%. The expected was 5.2%. The market went up and then it kind of went down a little bit and now we are hovering, which is nice. But the crypto market today is doing very good things because we did have that Shanghai update, right? We had this Ethereum Shanghai update where a bunch of Ethereum became unlocked. People have access to it. Day after day after day, there will be more and more Ethereum unlocked, but not everyone wants to sell their Ethereum when the price is pumping, especially at this price now, we're down below 50% of where we were at the highs. I'm sure more than half of the people, I may be wrong, but a lot of people are gonna wanna hold their Ethereum because of the upside potential. And it also gives the opportunity for more people to start staking. So, so far, this seems to have been a pretty bullish catalyst for Ethereum, which really, I wasn't expecting in the short term. I was expecting it in the long term because these upgrades that Ethereum has gone through have been very bullish. But in the short term, I did think people would panic. You can see here, the price is pumping, just like the price of Bitcoin is still pumping. And now guys, if you ever tell me that I don't give you awesome alpha in this channel, I don't really know what to say because yesterday I drew this little box here and I said I would expect Bitcoin to come down and retest this region. And what did it do when we were asleep? Exactly exactly that it came down and retested it and then bounced cleanly off it cleanly off it right now at almost a two percent profit that's the opportunity here in this market if you are an experienced trader and you do want to trade this market there is a link down there in my description to bitget you can sign up and get up to a ten thousand dollar deposit bonus right now moving away from that we do have some new news that has come out since yesterday's video this is the fomc minutes that have been released today which shows what the fed discussed at their last meeting so this is the summary from danny he does provide some awesome alpha over on Twitter, so I definitely suggest going to follow him. But the Fed expects a mild recession to arrive by the end of the year, which will be fueled by the banking crisis contagion, spreading to more banks collapsing. As well as that, the majority of Fed members support one, one more rate hike in May, and some believe even to pause the rate hikes next month. So this is pretty much exactly what the market's predicting. One more rate hike of 25 basis points, but we may even have a pause, which would definitely 
definitely, again, be bullish. On top of that, before banks collapsed, the Fed wanted to raise rates even higher to 5 to 6% range, but that may have been the something that they needed to break so they have stock. And the Fed does believe that inflation is slowing down as we speak. And they also believe that the banking system is sound and resilient. Well, it is sound and resilient when you've got billions and billions of dollars backing you up no matter what happens. And the interesting thing about the banks collapsing is they're just much bigger versions of these centralized exchanges in crypto that collapsed, except they have the backing of the US government. Ugh. We're not going to go there today. <laughs> Fed members also believe the downside risk to growth and the upside risk to unemployment both have increased. And they believe that they're on track with the fight on inflation and can still achieve a soft landing with a mild recession. Overall, the market continues to expect four rate cuts in 2023, while the Fed believes zero. So there's your update on what the Fed is saying to the public. Who knows if they're actually saying what they really think or they're just chatting nonsense as per usual. But that's for everyone else to decide. And if we do look over onto the major markets, we can see the S&P 500 trending up very nicely. The DXY trending down downwards very nicely and also in the stocks and shares world we have clean spark that we spoke about yesterday it's a it's a bitcoin miner that i personally dollar cost average into i've been dollar cost averaging into it over all of this time where bitcoin has been decimated actually quite a lot into that as well as my bitcoin investments and they have announced just yesterday that they're going to almost be doubling their exa hash when with their prices now still lower than a few months ago when we were at twenty five thousand dollars of bitcoin and double the exa hash i think this company could do very well. There's a link down there to Moomoo. That's a US-based stocks and shares app that I am affiliated with. And you can get access to CleanSpark and other cryptocurrency miners if it's something that you believe is going to do well. I like to diversify my portfolio a little bit into that world and it's been doing pretty incredibly so far. With that said, guys, hopefully I provided you some value. If I did, smash up that like button. Leave me a little comment down there telling me how you're feeling today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.